In the early 20th century, the Portuguese monarchy faced a series of challenges that would ultimately lead to its downfall. The monarchy had been grappling with humiliation and political struggles, and these factors would play a crucial role in shaping its fate. From November 1889 until February 1908, King Charles I of Portugal ruled over his nation with an eventful reign. Born on September 28, 1863, as the eldest son of King Louis I of Portugal and Queen Maria of Savoy, and he ascended the throne at the young age of 26. However, his rule was far from a smooth one, as he faced a myriad of political and social challenges during his time as monarch. One significant event that triggered discontent among the people towards King Charles I was the infamous British Ultimatum of 1890. This when the British demanded Portugal's withdrawal from territories in Africa to further their strategic interests. The King's weak response and submission to British demands angered the public, who saw their King as a mere puppet to foreign powers. This event became a turning point in the people's perception of their monarch, as a growing opposition to monarchical rule began to emerge. Along with the latter issue, there was an economic one which also surfaced as the 19th century came to a close. The once stable economy and financial prosperity under King Louis I gave way to turmoil during King Charles's reign. Portugal was pushed into declaring bankruptcy twice, in 1892 and again in 1902, leading to widespread economic struggles and industrial unrest. The ruling elite, who once thrived on economic expansion, now faced the wrath of a population yearning for a fair and equitable economy. In the backdrop of economic decline and foreign humiliation, the seeds of republicanism found fertile ground to grow, and that was the time where Republican Party marked the first serious opposition to the monarchy in Portugal. After the arise of the Republican threat, King Charles I attempted to suppress this opposition by appointing Joe Franco as Prime Minister establishing an authoritarian administration to maintain control. However, the harsh measures taken by Franco only further fueled the growing discontent among the populace. The situation reached a boiling point in February 1908 when tragedy struck at Pomeris Square in Lisbon when King Charles I and his successor were assassinated. An event fueled by growing dissatisfaction with the monarchy's policies and their inability to restore the country's economy. The rise of republicanism and the desire for change have become undeniable. But the new king, King Manuel II, was young and inexperienced successor to the throne. He wanted to steer the monarchy away from its impending downfall, so he recognized the need for a more inclusive government and called for the resignation of Joe Franco, hoping to appease the public. However, this move backfired as it emboldened the Republican Party and their charismatic leader, Afonso Costa. As the Republican Party gained momentum, they skillfully exploited the political and social turmoil caused by the monarchy's missteps. They rallied the people, convincing them that only a republic could provide solutions to the country's economic woes and political divisions. The stage was set for the monarchy's last days as on October 5, 1910, the revolutionaries further culminated in a historic uprising in Lisbon. The monarchy fell, and the first Portuguese Republic was born ending the centuries-old monarchy and ushering in a new era of Republican rule. The collapse of the Portuguese monarchy marked a pivotal moment in the nation's history. It was a tale of humiliation, economic decline, and the rise of Republicanism, a story of a monarchy's demise and the dawn of a new era.